we have the Cisco's earnings and strong action right now and after hours. I have to tell the MMTs that's going to gap down the technology sector. Not only that, the reports that they're given are not good. And basically, you know, other tech stocks have done well. So whether it's a Cisco thing or not, it very well could be. Uh, revenues are down. People don't like it. And they beat by two cents a share. They were in line with the report. But they're a little bit light on the revenue. They're missing in certain segments of the areas. So this is going to cause a gap down in after hours. One of the things that we have on the conference call is, is that they're talking about public sector spending is slow, which has them keeping a conservative outlook over the next few quarters. That's what they said the last quarter. Not only that, on the conference call, routing revs are 13%. Switching revenues was up 25% year over year, and enterprise order growth was 16% year over year, and, com and commercially 13% year over year. Here's the good thing, but there's nothing good about this. Listen, Q1 product bookings rose 10% year over year. Expect several more quarters before the new high end routers have a material impact. So, basically, what they're saying in their product line. And their product mix it's soft right now because no one's really buying routers until they come out with their new next generation. Um, we'll see pressures in North America cable business over the next few quarters. International markets continue to outperform the North American market segments. Um, bookings in Q1 were 500 million below the company's forecast. Look at there's nothing anything good about it. Now, hey, it's going to cause other technology sector related names to gap down bottom line and basically what we'll be doing is we'll take advantage of it I can see stocks that are gapping down in after hours right now you got Amazon gapping down an hour you've got Google here we've got Google gapping down on this news big time okay so you can see the bid and ask and what this is going to do to the rest of the technology sector. Now, this has got to be more of a Cisco thing because during the earnings quarter, we haven't heard this out of a lot of other tech companies and, and, and software and, and, and big conglomerates. So naturally, it's going to cause a problem overnight. And we will take a look. There isn't anything good on the conference call. There's not even a reason to even buy this on the dip unless it gets down to 17 and a half by 17.75 one day. Hey, then I could say by what they said that that would be a good thing. So here's the prices. There's the gap down. There's more room to go. The conference call is on effect. It's 2.11 p.m., 5.11 p.m. Eastern, 2.11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So MMTs, the bears are going to gap tomorrow off of the Cisco news. And we'll be looking at, you know, buying the gap down and the good quality names that will jump off the bottom. Here, let's see if Apple is gapping down. It had a fairly decent trading day off of the news of Cisco. Take a look. Sure is. Let's see what the close was. Whoa, there it is. The last print was 318 and it's gapping down. Look at here. The bid and ask is 315 by 315. They're gapping this thing down $3. And it's all related to the Cisco news. But we're going to buy these when they come down on the morning left elbow gap. We're going to buy them. And we're going to get in on these. And that's what we're going to do with this action right here. We're going to take the quality Googles and we're going to take the quality Apples intraday and the Netflixes that are gapping down. Let's see where that is related on the news. And this is what happens when bellwethers miss reports. Other things gap down in sympathy. So uh, this one here is holding out okay. Let's take a look at Priceline. PCLN, is, there, is it gapping down? Yes, it is. You can see. You can see the impact here of the gap down of... That's that bid of 417.90. It's all related to the Cisco. Once again, MMTs, you have learned. 